Okay, so it is my last morning in Florence and for the last hour I've been trying to get a taxi and they're like, no, no taxis, no taxis. And some are going by me that they have people in them. So then I went to the corner shop where I get my coffee and he said, I'll call. And then he called three times and they're like, nope, no taxis. And then I'm like, what should I do? Is there a taxi station? Should I walk? And I've got heavy bags, but I'm like, I'll do whatever it takes. And um, they're like, no, you just have to keep trying. Anyways, the woman that rented me this Airbnb, she tried for a taxi, she couldn't get one. Crazy. And so um, she called for a private driver, so it's gonna cost me like double my money, whatever it takes to just get me to the airport. So, um, fingers crossed, he's supposed to be here in like half an hour, so I have to just stand on the second floor and pick my bags. But fingers crossed, I would get to the airport. I was kind of freaking out. Everybody's like, I don't know, there's your taxi, nothing you can do. And I'm like, okay. And the, the, like, the nearest bus station or train station to get to, because you can take one of those to the airport, is very far away. And I've got so much luggage, like just carrying it around the corner was not easy. What with the cobble streets and everything. Anyways, wish me luck. So what happened was I was waiting for my private driver, right? And a taxi went back to me. Actually, several did, and I kept trying to like stop them. And I'm like, you can freak it and have you. And I was like, no, no, no. And this one guy had stopped. And I said, I'm going to the airport. And I'm like, can I eat? And he's like, I have some. And he's like, hold on. And he asked the woman, there's only one woman in there, if, if I could go with her to the airport. And she was super nice. And um, so I jumped in with this woman. And so I paid, I was, I was like, please let me pay for this. And she ended up being, she's an art student. Um, from the States, and she's just doing a semester um, in Florence. Anyway, so we had a great time, and I talked to her the whole time, and then I took this guy really well because it still saved me a year much faster, and it saved me like 30 euros. So, um, anyways, I'm at the airport, my flight's delayed, um, and it is a zoo here. But I'm here, I'm gonna have to fly, let's see, I'll fly from Florence. No, yes, I fly from Florence to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Boston, Boston to North Carolina. So it's going to be a very long time before I get home, but I'm at the airport. Look at the little teacups. Oh God, so cute. And of course, there's a flower place with tulips. Is that amazing? This is the cutest airport. Oh my god, there's just cute things everywhere. In the unlikely event of an emergency evacuation, follow the latest escape path to the nearest exit. On behalf of KLM Royal Dutch Airlines, we wish you a very pleasant flight. Customs. I'm almost home. I have been traveling for about 20, almost 24 hours. Not great. I'm stuck in Boston, but I'll be home soon. I'm really sick. But it was worth it. Welcome back, Mommy! <laughs>